Those who have lost loved ones to violent crimes are making their voices heard and hoping that state lawmakers are making the right decision when it comes to the zero bail bill. Today, opponents of Senate Bill 262 gathered in front of the Capitol to express why they think it's dangerous. Fox 40's Jeannie Nguyen is live at the Capitol with more on their message. Jeannie. Eric, victims' families say bringing back this bill is just a slap in the face, especially for the brother of Kate Tibbetts. Now, that's why he was here at the Capitol this morning, pleading and hoping that this bail, bill fails. I urge the assembly to vote no on Senate Bill 262. With only two days left in the California state legislative session, Senate Bill 262 is back before lawmakers, drastically revised, but still making some in the community upset. We have to ask ourselves, why are we here in the waning days of the legislative session discussing a bill that was just amended in the last few days? The bill, introduced by Democratic Senator Bob Hertzberg, would essentially have implemented a no-bail policy if passed in its original form. As it stands now, it no longer mentions zero bail. However, it now says if a defendant's charges are dismissed in 60 days, they can get their money back. What about the victims here in California? But for people like the family of Kate Tibbetts, even with the changes, they believe it would put dangerous criminals back into the communities. My sister died because of what I refer to as a political per perfect storm. It's right here in this Land Park neighborhood nearly a year ago when Kate Tibbetts was killed in her home. It's crimes like these that has people like her brother convinced Senate Bill 262 won't help make the community any safer. Troy Davis is accused in the murder. At the time of the killing, he was out of jail under the California's pandemic bail. Tibbetts' brother says if he hadn't been on the streets, his sister might still be alive. He failed to appear, appear for his arraignment and therefore had a warrant out for his arrest at the time he paid a visit to my sister and murdered her. He's hoping that with enough pressure, lawmakers will give up on the legislation. Senate Bill 262 will increase crime by enshrining a failed zero bail policy, whether it's called zero bail or ability to pay. Fox 40 News reached out to Senator Hertzberg for comment. After multiple calls and emails to his office, nobody responded by airtime. Again, there are two days left in the session and that bill was not on the agenda for today. Live at the Capitol, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.